The Hittites were an ancient Anatolian people who established an empire centered on Hattusa in north-central Anatolia around 1600 BC. This empire reached its height during the mid-14th century BC under Sapalulia Marae, when it encompassed an area that included most of Asia Minor as well as parts of the northern Levant and upper Mesopotamia. After c. 1180 BC, the empire came to an end during the Bronze Age collapse, splintering into several independent, neo-Hittite, city-states some of which survived until the 8th century BC. The Hittite language was a distinct member of the Anatolian branch of the Indo-European language family. They refer to their native land as Hatti. The conventional name, Hittites, is due to their initial identification with the biblical Hittites in 19th century archaeology. The Hittites became an important component of the Turkish nationalist history beginning in the 1920s with authors such as Ahmet Agaroglu, and the creation of institutions such as the state-owned Etibank. Despite the use of Hatti for their core territory, the Hittites should be distinguished from the Hattians, an earlier people who inhabited the same region and spoke a language possibly in the northwest Caucasian languages group known as Hattic. The Hittite military made successful use of chariots. Although belonging to the Bronze Age, they were the forerunners of the Iron Age, developing the manufacture of iron artifacts from as early as the 18th century BC. At this time, gifts from the Manabur Ashanda of an iron throne and an iron scepter to the Kanshite king Anata were recorded in the Anata text and scription. After 1180 BC, general turmoil in the Levant occurred that was conjectured to have been associated with the sudden arrival of the Sea Peoples. The kingdom disintegrated into several independent, neo-Hittite, city-states, some of which survived until as late as the 8th century BC. The history of the Hittite civilization is known mostly from cuneiform texts found in the area of their kingdom, and from diplomatic and commercial correspondence found in various archives in Egypt and the Middle East. Archaeological Discovery Biblical background before the discoveries, the only source of information about Hittites had been the Old Testament. Francis William Newman expressed the critical view, common in the early 19th century, that, if the Hittites existed at all, no Hittite king could have compared in power to the king of Judah. As archaeological discoveries revealed the scale of the Hittite kingdom in the second half of the 19th century, Archibald Henry Sace postulated, rather than to be compared to Judah, the Anatolian civilization was worthy of comparison to the divided kingdom of Egypt, and was infinitely more powerful than that of Judah. Sace and other scholars also noted that Judah and the Hittites were never enemies in the Hebrew texts in the Book of Kings. Things. They supplied the Israelites with cedar, chariots, and horses, as well as being a friend and ally to Abraham in the book of Genesis. Initial discoveries French scholar Félix Marie Charles Texier discovered the first Hittite ruins in 1834, but did not identify them as Hittite. The first archaeological evidence for the Hittites appeared in tablets found at the Assyrian colony of Kultepe containing records of trade between Assyrian merchants and a certain land of Hatti. Some names in the tablets were neither Hattic nor Assyrian, but clearly Indo-European. The script on a monument at Bogascoy by a people of Hattusis, discovered by William Wright in 1884 was found to match peculiar hieroglyphic scripts from Aleppo and Hamath in northern Syria. In 1887, excavations at Tel El Armana in Egypt uncovered the diplomatic correspondence of Pharaoh Amenhotep III and his son Akhenaton. Two of the letters from a kingdom of Keta, apparently located in the same general region as the Mesopotamian references to land of Hatti, were written in standard Akkadian cuneiform script. But in an unknown language, although scholars could read it, no one could understand it. Shortly after this, Archibald Sace proposed that Hatti or Kati in Anatolia was identical with the kingdom of Keta mentioned in these Egyptian texts, as well as with the biblical Hittites. 
Others, such as Max Muller, agreed that Kati was probably Keta, but proposed connecting it with biblical Kittim, rather than with the children of Heth. Sice's identification came to be widely accepted over the course of the early 20th century, and the name of Hittite has become attached to the civilization uncovered at Bogaskoy. During sporadic excavations at Bogaskoy that began in 1906, the archaeologist Hugo Winkler found a royal archive with 10,000 tablets inscribed in cuneiform Akkadian and the same unknown language as the Egyptian letters from Keta, thus confirming the identity of the two names. He also proved that the ruins at Bogaskoy were the remains of the capital of an empire that, at one point, controlled northern Syria. Under the direction of the German Archaeological Institute, excavations at Hattusa have been underway since 1907, with interruptions during both wars. Cult Tepe was successfully excavated by Professor Tarzan Osguk from 1948 until his death in 2005. Smaller scale excavations have also been carried out in the immediate surroundings of Hattusa, including the rock sanctuary of Yazilakaya, which contains numerous rock reliefs portraying the Hittite rulers and the gods of the Hittite pantheon. Writings The Hittites used Mesopotamian cuneiform letters. Archaeological expeditions to Hattusa have discovered entire sets of royal archives in cuneiform tablets, written either in the Semitic Mesopotamian Akkadian language of Assyria and Babylonia, the diplomatic language of the time, or in the various dialects of the Hittite Confederation. Museums The Museum of Anatolian Civilizations in Ankara, Turkey houses the richest collection of Hittite and Anatolian artifacts. Geography. The Hittite kingdom was centered on the land surrounding Hattusa and Nessa, known as the Land Hatti. After Hattusa was made capital, the area encompassed by the bend of the Halis River was considered the core of the empire, and some Hittite laws make a distinction between this side of the river and that side of the river. For example, the reward for the capture of an escaped slave after he managed to flee beyond the Halis is higher than that for a slave caught before he could reach the river. To the west and south of the core territory lay the region known as Luwia in the earliest Hittite texts. This terminology was replaced by the names Arzawa and Kizuatna with the rise of those kingdoms. Nevertheless, the Hittites continued to refer to the language that originated in these areas as Luwin. Prior to the rise of Kizuatna, the heart of that territory in Cilicia was first referred to by the Hittites as Adonia. Upon its revolt from the Hittites during the reign of Amuna, it assumed the name of Kizuatna and successfully expanded northward to encompass the lower Anti-Taurus Mountains as well. To the north, lived the mountainous people called the Kaskians. To the southeast of the Hittites lay the Horan Empire of Mitanni. At its peak, during the reign of Mursili II, the Hittite Empire stretched from Marzawa in the west to Mitanni in the east. Many of the Kaskian territories to the north including Hayazarazi in the far northeast, and on south into Canaan approximately as far as the southern border of Lebanon, incorporating all of these territories within its domain.